What's up, Chibi Squad? Welcome back to our channel! If you guys are new here, I'm Shay. I'm Eunice. And today, you guys, it's been such a long time since we had this. If you've been following us for a while, you know how much we love Congolese food. So we have a beautiful spread here today. Before we get started, you already know what time it is. Time to give a shout out to the first five commenters that commented hashtag Chibi Squad on the last mukbang. So a big, big shout out to Mohammed Hamza7246, Trips Ni Yapi, Neri M, Bethany Dagley and Ocean1481. Yay! Thank you so much for sure to comment now for a shout out on our next mukbang. Comment right now. So we have Muambe chicken over here, which is like a peanut buttery sauce. Makemba, which is plantains. Pondu. And some fufu. So this food was specially homemade for us by my friend Natalie's mom. She takes food orders, so I will put her information in the description if you guys are interested because it's really hard to find Congolese food. Actually, I couldn't find any. Yeah, she's like our only resource, so very clutch. Yeah, she does amazing home cooking. So delicious. She also gave us extra pili pili, which is like the gingery spicy sauce <laughs> yeah we know how to eat it now in their previous episode if you haven't watched it before it's right here we used to dip fufu into the pili pili and everyone was like oh my god and die. going wild and we yeah we learned our lesson so we're gonna eat this accordingly mm -hmm. so spicy it's so spicy so good so delicious yeah. so addicting we like it so much that she actually packaged extra for us yeah so. thank you so much natalie's she's amazing um she also gave us jamaican pineapple ginger let's say grace okay. amen Amen. Okay, I need to prepare myself because it's gonna get messy. So we're gonna eat with our hands. It's been a while since we had this. It's been a while since we had African food in general. It's the cool cat. Oh yeah, it's the cool cat. <laughs> okay, cheers. Mmm, it's good. You hear you you feel the ginger and then it's also like acidic because of the pineapple. I so feel like, your throat. yeah, it, it reminds me of a Moscow mule, but with no alcohol. It's delicious. It's a Moscow mule. It's a cocktail with like oh. ginger ale and yeah. <laughs> so start with the pili pili. I'm oh my god. <coughs> Spicy. I miss this so much. It smells like habanero right now. I think that's what's inside. Is it it? Yeah, okay. habanero. You're gonna just pour, oh, put the fufu on the side so it doesn't... Honestly, I eat a lot of this, so I'm just gonna put. I am prepared for. Is that too much to burn? No, it's okay. Okay. Honestly, I think I need more. A little more. It's super spicy, guys. It is. But it's so good. It's like. I don't know, like. I actually tried to make Congolese food on my own because Natalie's mom um, was <laughs> injured for quite some time. You did try. I tried. I failed so bad. Yeah, African food, you just need the right skills. You, you, just, you just need that special sauce in you and like I couldn't replicate it. Yeah. For those that don't know what fufu is, oh, yeah, that's true. look at this. It's like... It's... The texture is like... A very, very, very thicker mashed potato. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like a chewier. Chewier, yeah. It's so good. It's like, yeah. I don't even know how to put it in words. It's like, personally, I like eating this with fufu more than rice. Yeah, me too. It's so good. Okay, I'm gonna eat some right now. No! Yeah, okay. No more talking. Let's get to the food. Okay. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, what are you gonna start first? Okay. Pondu. These are greens. I think there's fish in here as well. It's amazing. Mm. So good. So good. So good. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you're not supposed to chew. <sighs> so Luna knows how to take out the food, that's why. No. Yeah. Whenever he's hungry, he just sticks his ponder. I mean, you can chew. Some people say that you can chew the fufu, but it's meant to be like swallowed, swallowed, and like kind of have your tongue press up against the roof of your mouth, let it disintegrate. We actually finally like learned how to do that. Yeah, it tastes much better when you it don't does. chew. It does. It does. You, you taste all the flavors like yeah. little by little. Okay, so okay. this one is kind of like a peanut buttery, delicious chicken. Mm. 
Mmm. So good. That's some pity pity. Did you get the chicken? I did. So good. I'm chewing that as I. It's amazing. The fufu just melted in my mouth. Got some pili pili with that. Oops, I got the pili pili first. Mmm. <laughs> Wait, I forgot how spicy that was. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty spicy. Wow, and check them out. Oh, my God. Really? My right side of my nose was blocked and it's just like... Poof. It's spicy. <sighs> I didn't know Congolese people eat this spicy. And it makes me so happy because, you know, I have a spicy addiction. Yeah. Wow, that's really spicy. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. 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 Akemba. Akemba. It's also plantains. Mmm. Mm. It's like crispy on the outside today. Mmm. Wow, she made it really crunchy on the outside. I love it. It's delicious. It's like burnt on the outside. It's so good. I'm gonna dip it in the pili pili. Mm. Oh wow, she made that so good today. Yeah, I really like it. It's so good. Mm. That's delicious. The crisp, the outsides are like crispy, and the inside is still like juicy. It's like soft on the inside and crunchy on the outside. Yeah, you get that crunch. That's so good. Mm. Wow, I really missed this. I missed it so much. Should do this and then just grab a chicken. I do want to know, like, why is there kind of like a shortage of African restaurants? I swear, they all close early and I can't make it by the time I finish work. Or they're too far, I'm like, so sad. Oh, I love Congolese food, it's so good. It's okay. So mm. It's really good. Oh. It's so spicy, but it's like addicting. Yeah, it's like adds a good flavor into it. Mmm. And you know, us Asians, we love ginger. So it's just like heaven. Mmm. I really like that this is the vehicle that brings the food to our, you know? Yeah. I mean, like this, it's so fun too, like you just dip it in whatever you want. And something about eating with your food just makes it taste so much better. Eating with your hands? Uh, yeah, eating with your hands. <laughs> Some of you guys have been leaving comments um, on our last episode. No questions, right? Some questions, yeah. So we thought, like, hmm, we should talk about it today. Oh, spicy. It is really spicy. <sighs> but Natalie's mom, Mrs. Kuedipka, this is so good. I like it spicy. It's perfect. So good. If you could spend a day with any artist or writer, who would it be? Any artist? Artist or writer, who would it be? This is really hard, actually. <laughs> I never thought about that. What about you? Mm, Do you know? I would say Jordan Peterson. Do you know Jordan Peterson? He's like the internet dad. He's an artist or writer? He's a writer, but he's like, um, he was a professor in a university in Canada, I believe. I thought, then, they, I thought they were asking about celebrities. Artist or writer? He's a writer. He has a book. He has, writes books. <laughs> yeah, right? I only think about music. Oh. Whoops. Yeah. I can't think of music on the top of my head because... Yeah, Jordan Peterson. Or maybe mm. Kanye because Kanye is kind of strange. Mm. I just want to pick It'll his be interesting. Brain. Yeah, yeah, I think I would be really interested in what he would want to say and stuff like that. Kanye. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. He has, like, different phases. Like, he has... Like right now, he's going through like his new wife era and we see a lot of pictures of them out and about but I just wonder what's going on in his brain because I know he thinks a lot. Like I know his inner world is probably very deep. <laughs> Kanye, interesting. Yeah, but definitely Jordan Peterson as a writer because I learn a lot from like his um, talks. You should, you should watch. He basically went viral because his controversial opinion about how he believes um, Women are born as women and men are born as men and like you can't choose how you feel or something like that. 
But other than that, he has very deep insight on like mental health and career and just things like that. So I like listening to him a lot. Mm. Uh-huh. Very thought provoking. <clears throat> like some things he says might offend you in the beginning. Like why does he think like that? And then when he starts breaking down the thought process, you're like, it's like logical. Oh yeah. Who do you want to speak? Like? <laughs> Honestly, artist I don't know. But well, you love music, so what about like an artist? I always really like Lynn. Oh yeah, I like Lynn too. I always wanted to meet her. She's a classic. Yeah, I love Lynn. You know, the one that's behind all those OST songs. Yeah. Yeah. She has a beautiful voice. You meet her too. I really like you meet her. Mmm. I like you meet her. We grew up we listening grew up. to her, so. Yeah. That's true. I don't know if you guys know who I'm talking about, but if you do, we grew up with her. She is my Norebang. Always. I always sing her songs in karaoke. She's a half black, half Korean artist in Korea. Mm-hmm. And a lot of her songs like depict her childhood trauma. Yeah, bullying. because she would get picked on because she was half black. And then um, she talks about how music was like her outlet. Yeah, but her music is really good. She sings a lot of OST songs now. Oh, she does? Yeah. Interesting. I think she's kind of making a comeback. I've seen her like in the public eye. She's a good singer and a rapper. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, she's really good. Mm. This is so good. So good. Just take the chicken and start eating it too. Yeah, I've been doing that. Oh. Oh. Like this peanut sauce is like thick and like roasted and I don't know, so good. Mm. It just falls off the bone. This sauce is so good though. It's so good. I tried replicating it and I don't know what's in here. It's so good. When I heard we could make orders again, I was like, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm so down. When I tell you, I was craving. Next question. What strange or exotic foods would you like to try? Mmm. That might have so much. I watch a lot of that one guy, the best food review channel ever. Mm. He's funny. <laughs> and a lot of the things that he tries, I look at want to try it. Me too. I think one was like Kenya. It was like some kind of heart or something. I don't know, but I'm down to eat anything, honestly. Really? I just want to see, because if it's normal in their culture, who's to say that it's not good? Yeah, I mean, I think we're like, because society is so much more advanced, people look at it like it's gross, but hey, once upon a time, our ancestors were probably eating the most weirdest things. As long as it's not eating another human being, I'm gonna try. Right. <laughs> I think that's where I draw the line. Uh, duh. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Okay, for me, I really, I don't know what it's called, but I see it on TikTok all the time. What? Like, um, oh, 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 do you know what I'm talking about, right? The Native American. Yes, the whale. They eat whale. Yeah, but it's like frozen and they cut it up like into like these like cross pieces. Yeah, they use this like knife that's like kind of like curved and they're always like cutting like this. Dude, that looks so good. Dude, it looks so good. And they dip it in like this brown sauce. I swear, I, every time I watch it, I'm just like, I really wonder. It looks like like sashimi to me. Mm-hmm. But I see a lot of hate comments going like, oh, these are, they're extinct. Like, don't eat them, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna try. I mean, <laughs> it's been in their ancestors like traditions for years. Exactly. They're still around, I mean. <laughs> They're still eating that. But my question is, where do you get it? Where do they catch the whale and then like have it on a platter for you to buy? Like where's the plug? I think it's like you know how in us K Town we have like Radio Korea? I think they have their own little community where they like speak to each other, like, oh you could get it here, here. True, I'm it's sure like a they local have their thing. Own. Yeah. Yeah. If we can find access to that, I would love to try it. I would love to. I think that's like one of my dream exotic food I want to try. When I went to Arizona for a Ma- Apache mission, mm-hmm. mm. yeah, they were a bunch of Native Indians. Did you try it though? No. Oh. But I'm sure they might have access. Mm. Actually, I don't know. Do you keep in contact with any of them? I have them on Facebook. You do? Do ask them. Should I? Yeah. Or do we have any viewers that are Native? Can you guys comment down below if you know? 
the please. plug. <laughs> please, I want to try so bad. I Is it on DoorDash? <laughs> Definitely not. I hella binge watch. But is it forbidden for us to eat actually? Is it like only for them, you know? I wonder. Can you guys give us the, the okay pass? Because we'd love to try. Like, I'm pretty sure we'll love it. <laughs> it looks so good. It looks really good. But it looks hard to cut. That's the only part that I'm kind of scared of. But like we need to get the knife that they use. I know. Just everything. I want to try it. I also want to try, um, you know, in... Is it Mexico? I don't know which country does this, but it's like fried crickets. Is oh crickets? man, you're down. I don't know. I can't eat bugs. Oh really? Because I saw this one girl in my elementary class where she brought like a bag and it was like already pre-packaged and it was like sauced in limon, spices and all this stuff. Was it deep fried? Yeah. I can imagine that it's probably deep fried. It was like deep fried like and it was like seasoned and everything. And she was just eating and everyone was like, ew, ew. But I was low-key in the back like, I want one. You like the crunch sound, huh? Yeah, it looked really good. And I love those spices, like those Mexican spices. Same. Limon, chile, and all that. And she was like licking her fingers like, <sighs> I was like, whoa, that looks good. And ever since then, I, I've been down to try it. Mmm. I don't know. For me, bugs are where I draw the line. I'm scared. Oh, like I, I cannot have the legs look at me. Like the legs are curled up because they're dead and like they're fried like this. Like that freaks me you out. You just gotta close your eyes. I, I heard it tastes like chicken though. It's like protein, no? Yeah. Wow, I'm, so, I'm surprised you were down for that. Really? It's not like I'm, I don't want to do a mukbang like a whole plate of it, but I want to try. Because I'm telling you, that memory of that girl like eating that and like licking her, I was like, wow, I want some of that. I'm sure you can find some. I can, but I don't want like the whole thing, you know. I just want to try it. I think if there's a lot, of, a lot of them, I'll be kind of intimidated. <coughs> oh right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, my, oh, too many. But like, if you give me one, I want to try it. Maybe I'll try with you. I'll think about it. Really? I'm, I'm kind of like scared. I feel like I asked you a long time ago, and you were like, mm. <laughs> "Bugs? I cannot do bugs." Like, oh man. I hear they taste good. Like, I hear a lot of good reviews, but damn. Okay. Even Koreans, we eat bundegi. Which is like, what is it, silkworm? I don't know, I just, I can't. I heard it tastes really good, but when I look at it, I'm like... Did you see the mosquito burger? What? Did you know, it's somewhere, I don't know where, but it's on Instagram, I saw this video of this guy. They have a bunch of mosquitoes come to the lake at a certain season of their time, right? They get a bunch of like bags and they get all the mosquitoes, they kill them, and then they mash them up together, like a thousand mosquitoes. I've seen make, that, I've seen into that. Into a burger and they fry it, and it's like... You know what, in that case, I, I don't think it's that bad because I don't see the limbs. But every bite is like the thousands of mos mosquitoes like ridding between your... I would think that the texture was there. It would be like... <laughs> <laughs> you bite into the burger. Like styrofoam? Yeah, yeah, like... <laughs> like I'm pretty sure there's a reason for everyone wanting to eat it. So I would give it the benefit of the doubt. You would try that but not the cricket? I think I'd rather try the cricket yeah, because me too, mosquito. Me too. I really hate mosquitoes. Me too. I've been fighting with mosquitoes all my Dude, life. I hate them so much. When I go to heaven, I'm gonna ask God, like, why did you create mosquitoes? <laughs> <laughs> Out of all bugs, why mosquitoes? Our childhood was like too so traumatic. I can't sleep. Dude, that sound still like traumatizes me. I swear. It's a universal experience, right? So bad. I like how they're kind of stuck together so you get layers of like crunch. Mmm. This chicken is really good. Do you know what else I want to try? Mm-hmm. Um, have you ever seen the Chinese mukbangs? Where they're eating this big like weird long thing. The geoduck. They eat it and the water squirts out like psh. You want to try that? I kind of do because I watch so many. Like, I found it weird at first. I was like, ew, it looks so weird. And then the more I look at it, I'm like, I wonder what that tastes like. <laughs> it looks very rubbery and chewy. But I heard it's a delicacy. It's a sea creature, right? I don't know. The water just shooting out. Like, I asked Damien and he said um, it's more like a delicacy. And he said, you don't eat it like that with the water shooting out. He said, they probably just do that for like the, oh, for, for the visuals. Bait? Yeah. I'm saying usually it's like served nicely. Like and cut and stuff? Oh, I'll try that then. I think the fact that you're going... Like no, but I want to try that because because I watch so many of that, I oh, want the satisfaction of replicating it, yeah. 
It looks so rubber, like hard to like, cut off, man. But they make it. Do Chinese girls make mukbangs look so good? The way they like dip it in some restaurants, they're like, that's true. They eat so fast. I don't know how I end up on those videos, but they just always show up. I actually actively search for them. Yeah. Whew. I wonder if they enjoy doing mukbang. Like, is it work for them? Because for us, we enjoy our food. We don't have like crazy amounts of food. I mean, I think some people can handle it, but I can't. Like, that's why we always tell you guys we can't finish the food because we genuinely can't. But some people, I think they can handle it. Like Juyang. Oh yeah, she eats a lot. I love watching her videos. I think she did a video where she went to the hospital or like some doctor said that she has a condition where she can't like digest all the way or something. So that's why she's able to eat a lot. Then where does all the food go? You think she just goes to the restroom a lot? Or maybe it's the opposite. She digests too fast so that her body can't contain the nutrients so she gets hungry again and again and again. I don't know, but there's a satisfaction in her videos Dude, yeah. when people are like, you can't finish it. And she always goes like, oh, I can. And they're like, oh my god, I can't believe someone like you. Yeah, you know. It's like, I know what's going to happen in the video, but I just watch it because it's so satisfying. It's fun. Because you know they're slow eaters. With me. Yeah, but slow eaters are like harder because you get f full faster. Yeah, I agree. No, not la. You're gonna die from this pili pili. She acts like I don't feed her. <laughs> I feed her so much. Wow, this is a lot of food. It she is. She packs so much for us. <clears throat> it's so good though. Mm. I'm gonna tell you guys how good the food is. Fufu, so good too. Dude, I love fufu. Remember when it was like a huge trend? Yeah. It stayed in our lives. Dude, so good. Mm. You know what's really satisfying to watch? What? How they make fufu. Mm. Or is it pounded yam? I don't know if the process is the same, but they'll get like this thing and they'll be like, poof, poof, mm -hmm. and then like fluffs up. That's some arm muscles right Dude, there. Dude, that's some labor. I cannot. I like, Damn. I think that's why it's so good. Like, you know it takes a lot of time to make this food. It really does. I will say African food is like really time consuming. So I give props. Like when I look at the restaurant food, I'm like, is this enough money for the type of labor they actually I know. Like, charge for? I'm like, because I tried and I give up. She tried too. What did you make last time? Jollof and yeah. I made the chicken stew, the red chicken stew. The jollof was really good though. Mm -hmm. But it took me like five hours, <laughs> four to five hours. I freaking listening to this like, it does not take that long. Yeah. Like why are you taking five hours? <laughs> it's like easy peasy for them. Yeah, that's why there's people like us that would just buy it from you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even bother. Just open up restaurants, please. Yeah, there's not enough, I swear. It shocks me how full fufu gets you. I thought I could finish it when I looked at the fufu, but it's like, I still have. We technically we could have split one, but yeah. we got greedy because we like fufu so much. Yeah, we could have split one, mm -hmm. but then we would have been like, oh, I want a little more. Mm-hmm. It's like craving satisfied. Wow. Ever since you told me that we were gonna get this this weekend, dude, I was thinking about it all. Me night. too. I was so excited. I was like, wow. Oh. I missed it so much. I would like go on TikTok and then type in African food, cookbang, mukbang. And then there's that one um, TikTok page where they're always like pouring the food out and they're like eating it together as a family. Mm. Oh my god, I can't. It's so good. <clears throat> yeah, I think I poured out too much pili pili. I thought that I could, but I couldn't. Me too. That was really spicy. No, you know what? I think like before, we used to be able to finish like a whole jar. Now I'm like more careful because... Your stomach hurts home. Yeah. Whenever you eat too much spicy. It tastes so good, but I can't let my mouth win anymore. You gotta eat it small, like little by little. <clears throat> and then the acidity of this after. Oh my god, I can't <laughs>
too spicy. Yeah. Wow. I think you're taking really big chunks of the pili pili. Yeah. Calm down. You know what African song is stuck in my head right now? Where? I can't sing it properly. You know the one that goes like, Baby, calm down. Oh, yeah. Is that, is that the one that goes, Go, 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 go. That one? Go, go, lo, go. I don't know. I just know the baby, calm down. That, yeah, I know that song. Calm down. Yeah. Oh, that's from TikTok, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Last bite, because I'm really full. Mm. Oh, so good, though. Wow, oh, so good. Can you imagine when, when we dip the pilipili, um with the food by itself, we're like, whoa! I know, we thought that that was its own stew. The Congolese community was like, astounded. Yeah. They're like, no way did these Asian girls, <laughs> little girls, just dip it into the pili pili. That's true, the comments were so funny. But I noticed they were really loving and like, they were very nice they about were. us trying their food. They were, I think they were more like amused that we tried the food instead of being offended that we ate it incorrectly. Yeah, yeah. true. Which I was really like grateful about because I was like, oh my gosh, they're probably gonna comment like so much bad things about us, but they didn't. They're really nice about it. Mm-hmm. And they taught us how to eat it correctly. And they were like actually reposting it on their own sites and stuff. I know. That was nice. I was like, oh wow. <laughs> There's a lot of, I think, Congolese pride. Just like Koreans, we have a lot of <coughs> country pride. We love that. A similar, yeah. Okay. For sure, I'm gonna save this. Yeah, I ate mine so much more cleaner than yours. Yeah. Yeah, you eat your so clean. Why is mine so dirty? Whatever. I'm just it's extra seasoning for the fufu for tomorrow anyway. <laughs> Gonna marinate there for the next day. Thank you, Natalie's mom, oh if you're watching this. It was Thank delicious. You. Oh my goodness. It was so good. I'm so glad we have more. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it later too. Yeah. I'm take some. Yeah, yeah. Take some. Take. I have a lot. There's a lot. Okay. If you guys live in LA and you're curious and you want to try the food. 10 10 i totally recommend you guys to try it so her information will be in the description hit her up and um she'll make you some delicious food yeah you'll know that it's authentic yeah and she blesses the food she prays over it so good yeah Yeah, honestly her business should thrive yeah and if you try it let us know if you did because we're curious too thank you so much for tuning into today's episode guys if you enjoyed it make sure to give us a big thumbs up hit that like button subscribe post notification bell ding if you haven't already make sure to go and follow our tiktok account join instagram account and we'll see you guys next episode we'll see you guys then bye bye